Sorry, it's been a couple of days since the last time I uploaded a video. I always hate missing three days in a row. The two years of me making videos on YouTube, I think the most amount of time that I've been gone is like five days total, and that shit drove me insane. So yeah, over the past couple of days, I've just had some audio issues, so hopefully the audio in this sounds extremely good or crisp or kind of how it used to sound. I ended up getting a Go XLR and an Audio Technica AT35. This shit is so professional that it seems odd in my setup. Like, I'm just not used to this type of level of shit. Plus, on top of that, trying to set up an XLR microphone, to me, is a little daunting. Not gonna lie, all right? The task at hand was very very difficult but what's going on guys it's premiere here welcome back to the channel hopefully you guys are all having a beautiful and wonderful day and welcome back to another call of duty modern warfare video i really haven't played a whole lot of call of duty in the past couple of days i've just been playing a lot of civ 6 honestly to me that's not a game that i thought i'd be playing at all i'm not really much of a strategic type of person i've been sitting up to like five o'clock in the morning trying to kill roman shit like that take over all of his shit i haven't really played a whole lot of call of duty but in the small amount of time that i have played call of duty i ended up finding this glitch and i know a lot of people have made videos on it already i know that agony had a video up a couple of days ago there's a glitch right now in Modern Warfare where you can set any weapon that you want on fire. My main concern for today is I hope the audio quality is pretty decent. Yesterday, I ended up sitting down and recording a video, but I really didn't like the audio quality. Just because messing with this stuff is a lot of trial and error, and I'm very impatient at times, I can get really irritated with something very simple in a matter of seconds. Yeah, I do love this fire glitch, though. Even though it does look goofy as shit when you ADS because you got the flames right in your eyes, it does look kind of clean. You know, for not playing much Call of Duty recently, they could give me a break and put me into some like you know bot lobbies every once in a while i get really sick and tired of playing against the same sweaty ass nerds low-key ridiculous out here sometimes i'm just trying to show off this beautiful glitch that we have a flaming weapon so if you guys want to be able to do this glitch all you guys have to do is have a kimbo pistols and it has to be a kimbo pistols and make sure that you have molotov cocktails get into the game switch to your kimbos throw your molotov and switch back to your weapon and now you have flaming weapons the best part about this glitch is it stays and you don't really have to do it every single life i think that's what i like the most about it it's extremely easy to do i would definitely say that this is probably the easiest glitch in the entire game without nerd this enemy team is playing bro i don't know what is going on in my lobbies i know i normally tend to bitch about my lobbies very consistently and i talk about it all the time after being in this lobby for a hefty minute dude if i even hit a quad feed today i'm gonna be thoroughly impressed with myself that was a fucking triple collapse that just lined up Dude, I swear to God, I was aiming high enough to hit a fucking triple head collab. I know I talk about those all the time. Dude, I swear to God, when I go edit this video and I see that I was extremely close, I'm gonna be so pissed off. All right, you know what? The shot is kind of picking up a little bit. Like I said, I haven't played much Call of Duty in the past couple of days, especially not multiplayer. Most of the time, as of lately, when I end up hopping on this game, I end up playing a lot of Warzone. And by the way, this glitch does work in Warzone. I ended up running around with it a little bit yesterday, but you're at such a disadvantage. I mean, it's definitely a cool looking glitch that anybody can do, and it just adds a little bit more style. It's just a matter of time before they end up patching this glitch. I think they'll end up patching it in the next update which i think we're also going to get that brand new camo challenge which i've heard is obsidian or i've seen some videos of people talking about it being obsidian or something like that i really hope it's like exclusion zone obsidian is basically like a fucking black camo i swear with this mastery camo you're gonna have to have like 5,000 kills with a single weapon just to get it and then it's just gonna be shiny black even bring back that mastery camo from mwr i'd be definitely fine with that okay, let's go actually go off a little bit the ax50 and me man we always have this really weird relationship it's either i could bang out every single one of my shots and look like a fucking god or i just look like a complete moron That would have been clean. All right, split quad feed. I'm cool with it. I really wish I'd put some more time into playing this game because I know if I ended up playing a little bit more, I could actually draw premonitions this year. I mean, that's just a dream that's probably never gonna happen. 
And why does my play of the games always just get cut off? You know, COD gods, I would like to be able to boost my ego every once in a while. You know, I would like to be able to see my own play of the game. It's like watching a porno and realizing it's just a strip tease porno. Like, no clothes come off. It's just there to tease the fuck out of you. It's bullshit. It's probably like watching one of my videos where the thumbnail looks really decent, but the gameplay is just cheeks. The gameplay is subpar. The shit that I say half the time is questionable. You know, even though some of the shit that I say is stupid, making YouTube videos is a highlight of my day. So yeah, what are your guys' thoughts on this whole mastery camo? What do you guys think it's gonna be? I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Obsidian. I mean, everybody was shitting on Damascus when it first came out saying it wasn't worth it. After a period of time, it's finally grown on a lot of people. Oh yeah, by the way, I don't know if many of you guys are huge sports fans and stuff like that or really care about the NFL or anything. I've been a Packer fan ever since I was brought into this world. Ever since I was born, this draft that we just had was one of the worst things I have ever seen in my entire life. So annoying to watch so many teams get so much better, pick up really good picks and shit like that. And then watch the Green Bay Packers fuddle fuck around for seven rounds and not pick up anybody that could help us out this year. There was a couple of players later on in the draft that we did get that we kind of needed. Honestly, I don't really mind us getting a quarterback in the first round either. I feel like a lot of the draft picks that we ended up picking up are like guys that won't play until like three years down the line. So it doesn't really help us with that whole win now mentality. If I were to put this in like Call of Duty terms, you were one game away from winning the championship and you just needed like two more pieces. You needed like one or two players to get you over the hump. That's all you needed. You wanted to go out in free agency. You wanted to draft a brand new player that would help you get this shit done. And then you sat on your hands and knees and were like, fuck it, we'll win in like eight years from now. All right. I don't really care about winning now, even though we were really close. Being a Packers fan was extremely easy a couple years ago, even though we went 13 and three last last year. It's not like we were an amazing team last year, all right? We barely won 80% of those fucking games. I mean, you could go old school like Vin Diesel and be like, winning's winning. It doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. I really hope this audio isn't fucked up today. If this audio is fucked up, I'm gonna be so disappointed. Even if the audio in this video is a little bit blown out and fucked up, I'll try to fix it for tomorrow's video because I do plan on uploading quite a bit this upcoming week. Honestly, the best thing about having a Go XLR is I can just sit here and just play random ass noises, make effects and shit like that, sound like a goofy goober, and just do a bunch of other random dumb shit. For the next couple of days, I probably will be playing Modern Warfare. I really did want to go back and play some older Call of Duties like Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 4, Black Ops 3, stuff like that. I might end up doing that next week. I don't want to go over there full time. I don't want to make videos on like older Call of Duties full time like I've done in previous years. I just want a little bit of a variety every once in a while. I mean, that MW3 video is doing absolutely fucking insane. I haven't been on YouTube in the past three days and that video has like 5,000 views or 4,000 views, some shit like that with like 130 likes. I don't know why that video is doing so well. Absolutely mind blowing. Thank you guys so much. I definitely want to go back and play Black Ops 4 sometime next week because I've heard that that game has become a clip city. That lobby was amazing. I'm so upset that I never hit anything in this. The shots and everything were there. Everything was so good. I think if I was running my MK2 and my Car 98K class where I swap between them, I think that would have been the most disgusting lobby I've ever been in. But anyway, yeah, that's the fire glitch in Modern Warfare. I really like this glitch. It's nothing extremely crazy. It's very simple. All you have to have is a Molotov cocktail and a Kimbo pistols. Put your Kimbo pistols, throw your Molotov. Then bam, you have fire weapons. In my personal opinion, I love the way it looks. I think if I can end up hitting like a six on or a five man multi or a five man times two or some shit like that, I might put that in a montage. I definitely want to hit a clip with this. For the next couple of days or for however long this glitch is in the game, I'm going to be running this. I need to make premonitions this year, dude. I need to stop being lazy. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe if you guys feel like it. Hope the rest of your day is the absolute best of your day, guys. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Peace, peace, my blood, bye.